Hello, welcome to exercise two here. What we're going to do is write a program to ask the user to input the radius of a circle as a decimal number. Then we're going to calculate the area of the circle using uh, the area is equal to pi r squared, which is r times r. And then we're going to output the answer as follows. The radius of the circle is however many meters. The area of the circle is however many that we calculate square meters. So again, we come down and we import the Java Util scanner there to uh, allow us to use the scanner class. Uh, and then inside the main method, the very first thing we do is what we always do when we want to do keyboard input with scanner, we create a new scanner object and we name it something. In this case, we're going to call it input. And this new scanner object is reading in data from the default system.in, which is the keyboard. So this is the standard boilerplate way to create a scanner uh, object from the scanner class. Then we create two variables, one named radius, one named area. We set them equal to something just to start it out. And they're doubles, which means they can hold decimals. All right. Next, we need to print out something on the screen. Enter the radius of the circle as a decimal. Now, this is just printing the text. We need to actually read it in. So the next line reads in the input. So what happens here is we have an if statement. If uh, on the scanner class that we created, if the input has a next double, in other words, if there's a double uh, number, a decimal number waiting to be read, if this uh, method evaluates to true, meaning that there is a decimal there waiting to be read, then this will happen. We're going to read in the next double that's waiting for us, and we're going to assign the value to the variable that we have already created called radius, because that's what we're putting in. So input dot next double basically um, accesses the method of the scanner class called next double to read in the next decimal, the next double variable, and then we're assigning that uh, to, to the radius variable. So this reads in the variable essentially. And then we calculate the area from that. So it's pi r squared. We're just using pi here as 3.14159. You can have more or less decimal places here. Also, if you dig in deep into the Java libraries, there's a built-in constant for pi you can just use um, there. But that's beyond the scope of this example. So for now, we're just using typing out pi times radius times radius. We're assigning that to a variable that we've already created called area. Then we print out the radius of the circle is, and then we print the radius in terms of meters. That's what we've written from the keyboard. And then we print out the area of the circle is, uh, and here's the area that we've just calculated in terms of square meters. And that's the entire program. So essentially, we're creating a scanner object. We're naming it input. That's how we're going to read stuff from the keyboard. Then we check to see if this, the next input is a decimal, if it's a double. And if it is, we read it in do the calculations and so on. So let's go ahead and run this guy. Enter the radius of the circle as a decimal. So let's do something like 1.0. Let's make it easy for us. So pi r squared. The radius of the circle is 1.0 meters. The area of the circle is pi meters. That makes sense because pi times 1 times 1 would give us that. Now if we do something a little crazier, if we do 25.41, then we will uh, get something like this. So we have the radius of the circle is 25.41 meters. The area of the circle is calculated as this to be the number of square meters based on this line of the program above.